The EA Play press conference at E3 has given us an insane amount of new information on Anthem. I'm breaking it all down in multiple videos. The world story in co-op, the environment and wildlife, and the freelancer javelins and their customization. The world of Anthem is amazingly beautiful and diverse, with canyons, underwater caves and many creatures to inhabit them. Let's zoom into the environment and wildlife and how they affect our experience in this video. The world of Anthem is large and open for you to explore. It's set in a tropical, lush jungle setting with giant ravines, rivers and underwater caves and even more. It bears a lot of similarities to Earth itself, but also to Pandora from Avatar. Each of these different ecosystems sustains its own wildlife, its own plants and creatures. Waterfalls and rivers can be used to cool down the javelin's jets, and as you're diving into the world, you can see many different plants and trees, some bioluminescent, others spreading everywhere. As said, each ecosystem also has its own creatures, unique to that area. We have managed to identify a few, though we don't know all of their names. I don't know what this first animal is called, but it looks like a bug mutated rhino or cow or something in that regard. From gameplay shot, it looks like a herd animal and it's probably prey for some other creatures out there. In the same shot, we can see a smaller creature, no idea what they would call it, but it's probably docile as well. Flying through, we see beautiful purple butterflies and other grazing deer-like creatures, of course, also mutated. At the entrance of this cave, we see rabbits, some oversized mutated rabbit species. They appear friendly. But as we move on through the cave, towards the valley below, we can see a whole flock of wyverns in combat with turrets of the scars. These seem to also be herd animals, and besides that, you can also see a flock of purple-blue birds on the left flying by. And of course, we also seen some white birds before too in previous years in 3 reveal. Nothing too special though. A little bit ahead, we fly towards an ancient guardian called an ash titan. These are huge creatures that are definitely hostile and require high level players with a squad to take it down. It looks like it can shoot a giant beam of energy out of its chest, besides of course slamming you into the abyss if it wants to. This seems kind of like a boss battle. Diving into the water, besides bioluminescent plants we can also see rather large fish swimming around. Nothing too special though, and there's no underwater combat so you can't kill them I think. But there are more bigger creatures lurking in the depths below, something that lays eggs. At the end of the E3 2018 footage, they showed a giant spider-like creature called the Swarm Tyrant. This is definitely a boss battle and it looks quite epic. But there are more creatures. We saw other spider-like creatures called Digesters. And besides that, there's also the apex predator of Anthem, the Ursex. A gorilla-like creature that we've also seen in last year's gameplay footage. There he was hunting a pack of other creatures that bear similarities to wolves, though we don't know their name either. All these creatures interact with you, each other and the environment. Bioware stated that specific creatures will come out when it rains and other when the sun shines. They also react to the weather, to the seasons, to the day and night cycle. The world and its creatures look amazing and make Anthem that much more immersive. By the time the game releases I will dive more in depth into the world and its creatures but for now this will have to do. Let me know what your favorite creature was that you saw in this video and why. I'm excited to interact with each and every one of them but that will have to wait too. Sad face. And that concludes this video. I want to thank you for watching and peace out.